the Middle East does not need nuclear power mm -hmm. because of the current performance of renewables coupled with uh, cheap prices of natural gas. Welcome to Inside the Middle East Q&A series at the Middle East Initiative. My name is Maria Ilias and I'm a master's candidate at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University and an editor at the Harvard Journal for Middle Eastern Politics and Policy. Today we are joined by Dr. Ali Ahmed, who is a scholar in residence and director for Energy Policy and Security in the Middle East program at the Issam Fares Institute for Public Policy and International Affairs at the American University of Beirut. Dr. Ahmed, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So to begin, what are Middle East's energy needs and how do they compare to other regions around the world? Right, so energy demand in the Middle East has uh, tripled over the past 20 years, mainly driven by economic growth, population growth. And this is pretty much in line with the trends we see in emerging markets in Latin America and Asia. Hmm. However, the issue, if you take indicators such as energy consumption per capita, uh, Middle Eastern countries have one of the highest levels in the world. Now, of course, this is a, a big issue uh, that is related to um, cultural factors, but also government subsidies. Uh, it should be noted that in the past few years, there has been uh, uh, some, so, some sort of response from countries with high energy consumption per capita, such as in the Gulf countries, to resolve this issue th through uh, gradually, remo uh, gradually removing subsidies, uh, uh, but also uh, raising the awareness about the importance of uh, energy conservation. Hmm. So what are the trade-offs between having nuclear and renewable options for the Middle East? And are there countries that have been more successful mm -hmm. at renewable energy than others? This is a great question, especially now uh, since we have a surge of interest in nuclear mm -hmm. power in the Middle East, and also the Middle East being a uh, place where renewables have been uh, doing brilliantly in, right. in the past in the past few years. Actually, we can think of uh, four areas of comparison between nuclear and renewables. Okay. The first one is cost, and we see a, a divergent a trend in these two technologies. Uh, in the case of renewables, uh, we have seen substantial cost reductions over the past years. And uh, for example, uh, a few years back, you know, the cost of renewables was close or even equal to the price paid by the end user. Mm. Now we are past that point, we have reached new level of low costs mm. that actually big companies can make profit of these projects. Um, the second area of comparison is financing. So in nuclear financing, because of its capital intensive, because of the uh, exclusive set of risks that it involves with the nuclear projects, it requires government support and government right. financing right. in one way or another, such as providing loan guarantees, for example. Mm. But in the case of renewables, uh, we see that the government support is desired, but not is not uh, imperative. Mm -hmm. uh, on the contrary, in the Middle East, for example, we see uh, appetite for the private sector to get involved in these renewable projects. Mm. For example, in Jordan, we have the first uh, project financed renewable uh, uh, a power plant in the whole region. Mm. Um, the third area of comparison is security. And this is something very relevant to uh, the current state of the Middle East. So nuclear power, um, uh, not only it deals with sensitive material uh, that can be used to produce weapons such as enriched uranium or mm -hmm. plutonium, they actually can be used as, as, as targets. Mm. And in the past, they have been actually been used as targets. Uh, in the case of renewables, it's not as sensitive. It's mm -hmm. not, and also, uh, uh, while nuclear power plant uh, is centralized in central location, in, in specific locations, renewables are uh, diffused all over the place. So even if you target a solar power plant, this will not disturb really the production of electricity in the whole country. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth area of uh, comparison, which in my opinion is very important, is localization. So using the technology to ha to create jobs in the country and to diversify the economy. Mm -hmm. Nuclear power is very mature industry. It's a um, 70, 80 years old industry. So there is very little margin for improvement or innovation or cost reduction. On the other mm -hmm. hand, we have renewables, which are not yet mature and countries in the region, given the right investments and the right policies, they can actually be leaders in the world in that regard. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for being with us today. Thank you.